Happy spooky season. Today, let's talk about a menacing snail, the Grayfoot Lancetooth, also called Haplotrema concavum. The Grayfoot Lancetooth can be found throughout the eastern United States. Like most snails, they like dark, cool, moist habitats like under leafy ground cover and rotting logs. The shell of this snail reaches a maximum size of a little less than an inch, so it may not be very imposing to you or me, but these snails are vicious carnivores of the forest floor. Let's take a look at how this predator hunts for food. The Grayfoot Landstooth finds the slime trail of another snail that has recently passed through the area. It follows this slime like a breadcrumb trail leading to its unsuspecting prey. The Grayfoot Landstooth grabs onto the shell of its prey with its muscular foot like a suction cup. This prevents any hope of escape. The snail will retract into its shell hoping to use it as protection, but nowhere is safe from this predator. It slowly engulfs the shell under its foot and orients its mouth to be directly over the opening of the other snail's shell, called the aperture. The Grayfoot Lancetooth has rows of ribbon-like teeth called a radula that extend into the shell of its prey. This radula has barbed-like protrusions that it uses to scrape flesh from the snail's soft body, slowly eating it alive. When feeding on snails with softer shells, the Grayfoot Lancetooth may even break a hole directly through the shell. It can take several hours for it to completely consume its prey. When it is finished feeding, it will leave behind only an empty shell. These animals are pretty distinct, making them easy to identify. As the name implies, their soft body is gray, sometimes with sections of black running down it. Their head will have four tentacles, two longer eye stalks and two shorter ones. These can retract into the body so they are not always visible. The shell of this snail is usually a horn-like color. They are flat and discoid shaped shells with a large opening on the underside. This opening is called the umbilicus, and it allows you to see all previous shell rolls clearly. The aperture is rounded with an indent on one side. Using these key characteristics, I hope you can find and identify one of these spooky snails for yourself in the wild.